special to me because I've never raced it before. Only I've raced it on my driveway and this time I'm going to race it on my road and see how fast mine goes. Your car might not be as fast as mine or maybe faster. Right. I'll have more training. Okay, so... And you might have to get through a lot of crashes because of me. Right. So I'm going to try and help you out here Justin, I'm going to help you measure how to make this, how we can measure how fast yeah. this car really goes. Yeah. Okay? So we're going to use a bit of maths and a bit of timing and we're going to figure this out. So um, Justin's going to help with being the cameraman, so here you go Justin. Hey! So the way we can figure out how fast the car can go is we can figure out how far it's gone, how, lot, how far it's travelled and how long it took it to do that. Because if we measure speed in kilometres per hour, like a car going 100 kilometres per hour, that means that that car can go 100 kilometres in one hour. <laughs> so Imagine if that was one Yeah, I don't know how fast this car is going to go. Yeah, but definitely maybe, not 100. Maybe if it went for a whole hour, it might go 100 kilometres or it might go 20 kilometres or somewhere in between. So we'll find out. Yeah. So, we've got a nice cul de sac here. Do you want to have a show the camera? Point the camera at the cul de sac, Justin. So, this is our nice big circle of a cul de sac. Yeah, and we're going to measure how big it is and measure how long it takes. So, I'm going to measure how big the circle is. And the way I can do that is by using some mathematical equations. So, I have a mathematical equation that tells me that if I know how far it is to the centre of the circle, I can figure out how far it is around the whole circle. So I'm going to measure to the centre of the circle okay. with my feet. This is, is about one metre, so I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so it's about nine metres to the middle of the circle. Oh. So I've got a calculator here, camera me. Alright, so this is a retake of part of the calculations because I got them wrong. Actually, the, the circumference or the, the length of the circle going all the way around the circle is 2 times pi times, times the radius being from the center of the circle out to the edge. So the radius was 9 meters, and so we do 9 meters times 2 times pi, which is 3.14, and that gets us 56 meters. So, all the way around this big circle is 56 meters. So the next phase is to time it. I've got a timer here, it's currently set for, yep, counting up. So, what we need to do is get the car ready to go. I've already turned the remote and the car on. Yep. So now all we need to do is to drive it around. So I'm going to hit the timer at the same time as I start the car. And as it crosses this line, I'm going to go as fast as I can around the circle. As soon as it gets back here, I'm going to stop the timer again. Okay. Ready? Yes. <laughs> you nearly bumped yourself. Yeah, that was 13. Oh dear. I knew that was going to happen. So that was 13 seconds to, to go 254 meters. Oh my god, that car's fast. That's pretty fast. Yeah. <laughs> so now we've found that the car was, yesterday we found the car was traveling at 13 seconds. Uh, it took 13 seconds to go 56 meters. But today, when we measured it, it was going faster. They were going like 9 seconds. So let's try that. Yeah, because my 540 is supposed to be slower, but it actually went faster. Yes, today it went faster for some reason. Maybe we got better at the timing. So, if we go back to saying we did 54 metres in 9, so that's 6 metres a second. That is 360 metres a minute. And that is 21,000 metres what? per hour. So that is how many how many kilometers is that? Twenty-one thousand meters. There's a thousand meters per kilometer. So Twenty-one thousand meters is how many kilometers? 
22. 21,000 meters is 21 kilometers. So, could the car actually go 21,000 meters in a whole hour? Probably less than an hour. Why is that? No, it will blow an engine. Right. So the car couldn't actually go 21,000 meters, 21 kilometers in an hour, but for a short space of time it can go at 21 kilometers per hour. Pretty cool. Yeah. Cool. Right? Yeah. Cool. Okay, we've got a bit of an update, don't we? Yeah. So, it occurred to us that this little car is a lot smaller than the, like a, a normal adult car, like the one in the garage there, that blue one. The Toyota Camry. Yeah. And so, if this car was bigger, it would probably go faster. And I reckon, like, if this car was twice as big, maybe it would go twice as fast. So, we're going to find out how much bigger this little guy would have to be to be the same size as a, as a normal car. So I've already measured the one in the garage. That blue one is about four meters long, about 400 centimeters. Oh. And so now Justin's going to measure this little one for me. So Justin, here's the tape measure. You measure this little one for me, like we practiced before. Yep. So when you're measuring something, you have to measure something in a straight line. Here's my other little assistant, Tamsin. Hello. You sit over here, bubs. So, we've got it in a straight line here. Oh, yeah, I was measuring from the bumper. That's right at the front there. And then where does it come to? Um, after 40030. Okay, we'll say it's 40. It's about 40 centimeters or 400 millimeters. Okay, so this little car here is 40 centimeters, and this one in the garage is 400 centimeters. So, how many times bigger is the one in the garage? Mm. 10? 10? Okay. Yes. So if we took 40 and we times it by 10, we'd get 400, the same as the one in the garage. So, if we still believe that this would go 10 times faster, if it was 10 times bigger, then let's do that maths. So how fast was this going? 21. Yes, we calculated 21 kilometers an hour for this. So if that was times 10, that would be 210 kilometers an hour. Oh my god! Yeah! 210 kilometers an hour, maybe twice as fast as one in the garage. So it's a pretty speedy little fella, considering yeah. how small it is. Interesting, eh? Yeah. Times that by 60, and we get 66 kilometers per hour. So that car, that little radio control car, can go 66 kilometers an hour. <laughs> so if we were to drive it down the main road of town, the speed limit's 50 kilometers an hour, it would be going over the speed limit. <laughs> yeah. yeah! Yeah! And if it was a big car, that would be really cool if it was a big car. Policeman could give it a ticket, couldn't he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but how could you give a ticket to a robot control car? <laughs> <laughs> wow, very good.